In this video, we're going to be talking about setting up your end of day reports. So this is super important to keep tabs on our team members, know exactly what they're doing, uh, seeing if they're hitting KPI, all of that good stuff. And I'm going to show you how to integrate it with Slack um, so that you can just see it automatically when it comes in. So let me show you that first. Um, one of the first things that you want to do is set up an end of day channel for each of your uh, team members. So as you can see, we have a sales end of day report. So every time that uh, the form is submitted, we can see it right here. How much revenue, how many sales calls booked, how many low ticket sales, all of that good stuff right in this place. I can see book calls, activities they did that day, and I can respond back to them. Boom, awesome job. So this is absolutely incredible for managing the team, making sure everything's good. And once you get the end of day report form ready, make sure you put it at the top. So right here, cool, it goes straight to their form that's built inside of Airtable. So I have the notes right there for the SDR team of what to put into notes, and then they put in their data right here. So also you can create awesome interfaces here. So I can see all of my setters, end of day reports, boom, and data right inside of dashboards. So if we go to setting right here, awesome. Yesterday isn't filled out because um, it was it's a weekend, but I can see call bookings by day, who's responsible for the majority of the call bookings, the live triage calls, all of that stuff automatically set up in there. So first thing we wanna do is uh, set up the data side of things. So inside of Airtable, you should have a section that either says KPIs or end of days. And what you can do is go into the hidden fields and turn on the fields that you wanna turn on. Maybe we wanna track deposits, number of deposits in here and we can just click that on and move this around. And you can also create new fields, boom, if you want them to track, let's say, canceled calls. Boom, calls, and then put a number in, awesome, then that's in there, and I can move this around, right? So I'm gonna hide this, turn this off, Here's some of our numbers that we track for the SDR end of day reports. And what I wanna do from here, once I have this set up with the notes and everything is set up a form. So inside of here, what we can do is hit add form, create form view, boom. And I can either create a form that looks like this, boom, with all of those numbers and I can move these off and I can remove all and just turn on the ones that I wanna see like that. And I can also make them required, boom, like that. Awesome. And it will take about 20 minutes to set up the end of day report, but you will be so happy that you did. And that's one type of form. The other type of form is the new upgraded type where I just hit continue and then it will look something like this. And I can turn on the fields that I wanna see, right? Boom, like that. I'll send over a screenshot of what these actually look like for ours, but you just turn them on, you make them required, you put that stuff in. And here's our uh, SDR, our setter end of day report. So at the top I have a title and then I have the notes that I want them to add in. And then I have the date, the notes, the data that I want them to fill out on a daily basis, put in who's responsible, what month is it? And then this is super important for the roll up field. This will tie it to all data. So make sure that you have that bad boy in there. So you set up the forms. We also have a CSM end of day report for Lauren. Boom, perfect. And all of that data in there. And you get the form rocking and rolling. And then we wanna set up the automation. So get the form set up. And then in automations, what we'll do, let's see if I can quickly find it by saying EOD, boom. 
So SDR EOD report, boom. So you create a new automation down here, or you find the automation that's already in there, but create automation. When form is submitted, table is EODs, SDR end of day report, and then it goes to Slack, perfect. So we choose the Slack account, then the Slack channel we want it to go into, and then we can see the data by the end of day report. So user's name, end of day report, then uh, revenue, boom, here, book calls, low ticket sales, whatever you wanna see. So I can easily go in here, boom, click this on, and say I wanna see number of live calls there. And then I can type in live calls, boom. Sweet. <clears throat> and then I want to see the notes down there, right? So once we have that set up, we'll get those automated end of day reports showing up in here inside of Slack. And when they submit the form, then everything will be integrated into this table. So I can see all the SDR end of day reports here as well. Awesome. And I can see it in interfaces as well. So here, boom, dashboards, setting interface, boom, <clears throat> publish, boom. Then underneath the interfaces video inside of, uh, inside of school, you can see exactly how to set those up. So the first thing that you wanna do is identify the data that you want to track for each team member, then set up their view inside of data here. Then you wanna set up the form by clicking form down here. Then you wanna to go to automations and make sure it links up to Slack so you can automatically see it. And then you wanna set up the interfaces side of things. So. Once you have that, you have a good feel for what your team is doing and what numbers they're hitting, and they will be far more accountable to their numbers. So that's about it for this video. I will see you in the next one.